I'm the Casual Spaceman and welcome to my channel once again. This is just a very quick introduction to a video by Leah's Logic. She does a really good smackdown, but a truthful smackdown and a bit of a psychoanalysis of our friend, Orphan Red. Link to the video and the link to her channel in the description below. So have a look and then if you like what she's doing, then please subscribe. And here it is. Hey guys, so I'm coming out fighting today for logical troglodyte and sarcastic barman after Orphan Red has picked on them with false copyright claims. Screw her, let's get into it. Hey Orphan, so I thought we'd have a chat girl to girl or woman to girl about the ins and outs of being an adult. What did I just say? Um, but anyway, often, hey, um, stop it. I could end the video right there. But hey, it, you can't put copyright claims against people just because they disagree with you. What are you thinking? Like, it's like, like something a bloody child would do. <sighs> um, you've got to learn the difference between criticism and bullying. Do you know? the difference? Did you know that criticism is okay? Um, I seem to mention when you were talking about science and scientism that science should um, be open to um, opposing ideas so um, I'm wondering how this all plays into um, your ideas about shutting down or trying to shut down channels that are smaller than you that have a differing opinion. It's quite bizarre. It's a word. Um, hypocritical. Um, so I've been taking a closer look at your orphan since all this nasty drama is, has been going on and something's become quite clear to me. Behind the smoke screen that is orphan red, you are quite a manipulative little number, aren't you? So, you know, I'm going to agree with you on one thing. You are smart. But not in the way you think you are. You are manipulative. And you're taking advantage of your followers. You get on camera and you come up with all these word salad that sounds really smart and really intelligent and the next minute switch you're acting like a little girl with some kind of issue with their sexuality and I want to make something very clear I couldn't give a fuck what you're wearing and I couldn't care how you like to express yourself as a woman. But what I do care about is you trying to take advantage of people who are vulnerable. Now, most of them I don't really care about because I think, well, if you're dumb enough to give your money to someone like Orphan Red, go for it. But I know that there would be people amongst your followers who are vulnerable for reasons that are not their fault. People with intellectual disabilities, people who are vulnerable for other reasons and they are open to being manipulated. And I've watched you, I've watched you s spend hours spewing your bullshit about the flat earth and all the other conspiracies crap that comes along with it but I have also seen you manipulating people about how they should think and I'll give you something you are clever you're quite clever in how you go about it aren't you you've got you've got this innocent oh I'm so innocent and wouldn't harm a fly and we should all love each other and not put others down stands but then as soon as someone comes along that disagrees with you what happens 
they're out the fucking door and you're gonna hide their comments delete them time them out ban them block them wherever it is whatever it is it happens and orphan red we have a stack of evidence of you doing this i mean i'm not even going to be able to show it all today what i'm going to do is put, put it at the end of my rant so people can take the time to pause it and look at it for as long as they want and i'm also going to provide an example of you breaking down somebody's critical thinking skills and opening their mind up to your bullshit and I hope that it helps people see you for what you really are and that's someone who's taking advantage of the platform in a way that is not honorable or honest I have a, a lot to say about Orphan Red and what she's up to but um, I think it's best just to show you a couple of clips that is fairly typical behavior. The first one I found particularly disturbing, not just because of the censoring, but the little lecture she gave in how to think afterwards. I found it quite a dangerous manipulative thing to be saying, to explain how someone should be thinking in such um, intricate detail and it's uh, it felt like um, you can trust me I am the person you can trust because I'm the person telling you this I hope that makes sense anyway watch and see what you think Flux Capacitor argues, you're making the positive claim and haven't demonstrated it to actually work and you're just deflecting. Okay, so first of all, you're being annoying, that annoys me, so I'm putting you in a, just a short timeout. Um, it's not deflecting, I am answering the question, but I'm not answering the question the way you're used to. You're used to authority figures telling you what to believe and then you just accept it with blind faith. And that's not my thing. That's not what I'm interested in doing. I'm not here to tell you what to believe. I'm here to tell you, you need to challenge your underlying assumptions. You need to question your beliefs. You need to figure out how do you differentiate what you know to be true from what you just believe to be true. You need to start thinking about why do you trust this person to tell you things about the world but not that person and you need to figure out well what are the implications of trusting that person and and what what knowledge would you maybe acquire if you were to fail to accept as certainties what you're taught right and as for oh it doesn't actually work in your model actually yes it does so that's a rather typical way that she will deal with a troll oh, no well it's not a troll to her it's a troll uh someone who believes in the globe earth it doesn't matter how they ask the questions it doesn't matter how they um challenge her ideas whether they do it politely or not they they're going to have consequences um <clears throat> when this happened in the stream validation boy came in um he came in and posted some particularly racist disgusting vile comments and a few people in the chat agreed with him and she just says hello hey validation boy is here <laughs> then after she says hello to validation boy she has a little rant about how it's all about me 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 just monkey drunk monkey says are you for real you just timed someone out for asking a question yes i did and you know why because this is the orphan red show and this is my show and i get to do whatever i want on my show <laughs> And if you don't like it, you can have your own show. And you don't have to time people out for being annoying or trolling or just disrupting the conversation. You can just feel free to do whatever the hell you want to do on your show. But this is my show on my channel, so that's how that works. <laughs> oh, I'm drunk with power. No, I'm, do I'm not. I'm joking. <laughs> that's how it works, all right, Orphan. And this is my channel. It's my show. And I'm going to do it how I want over here. And another thing I wanted to say is um, I've been I've removed a few people um, 
I'm, I keep putting this particular user in timeout in all his different uh, channel socket counts because if you have a question that's okay but ask it politely if you're saying oh you're deflecting oh you're blah 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 well then yeah of course i'm gonna time you out or block you because you can ask the same question in a polite manner and you can even be friendly about it and then you'll get a very polite and friendly answer from me but if you are rude then you get a time out and even maybe blocked <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's a little bit that I can show you guys. Um, we can speculate a lot about what's going on with her. A lot of things you're not going to know for sure. Um, I've done the best I can with what evidence I have and what my opinion is. And I want to make it clear that most of this is my opinion. It's not based on anything else other than my opinion. Um, I'd recommend that you will go watch AB Science's video about Orphan Red if you haven't already seen it. He calls her a charlat charlatan and I think that's a pretty good term for her as well. Um, I hope that Logical Troglodyte and Sarcastic Barman are okay and doing well because I imagine I'd be pretty well pissed off if I was them. And I'm really absolutely amazed at the support that the community has given them and I think it has make, made a difference to the fact that Logical's um, copyright strike was removed uh, even though sarcastic barmans are still in place at least Logical had a, a win there. Um, so I love all you guys for sticking sticking by each other it's amazing and I'm, I'm so glad that I'm a part of this community it is um, actually making quite a difference to my life um, some of you would know the more of the specifics about why that is um, so I hope everyone just tries to keep their cool a little bit it could be really easy to say something out of line towards her and the last thing we want is her to actually have evidence of being bullied or harassed because she is already doing a fantastic job of playing the victim card without actually having any evidence to back her up so don't give it to her. Um, I wish you all well and um, I'll leave you with um, some screenshots. Catch you all later.